previously on The Apprentice. The task was to create and produce a launch display for GM's new Buick Lucerne. We set up this restaurant, and our guest is the car. It's that nice. It's that nice. You would, like, you would have it to dinner with you. It's clever. The concept we're going with is driven by elegance. I'm going to go to the prop house. You're going you're gonna to go all by yourself to the prop house? Well, I don't want to go with you, that's for sure, because you're wait, being wait, totally wait, rude. Wait, I have to clear every sign through you, you that we're need, doing? You it's don't like have you're to clear anything. Everything. When Bethany and Jim are at each other's throats, it could be very negative when it comes to trying to win this task. Hi, how are you? Hi, Marcel. At one in the morning, we go to the editing bay, and I basically produce the video. We talk to a PR agent. OK. Change the concept. You know how, anyway, bottom line. This setup. is the whole concept. This is set up. This is yeah. the whole concept. It'll just, sorry. Sure. Trust me. Leslie decided to go in a different direction. I disagree. I don't know if Leslie was really sure what she wanted to do, and it was kind of just happening as, as we were going. Well, good afternoon again. Everybody wants to feel like they're part of a family. Our luxury automobile is something that is so special, it belongs with you all the time. It felt like we were swinging and missing. OK. We chose a sleek, elegant design, so the entire concept is driven by elegance. The GM executives agreed that the Primaria's presentation was superior, so Matchstick ended up in the conference room. Leslie, your team lost. Why? Fundamentally, the idea of no valet necessary was good. It was clever, but it left something to be desired in terms of what does that mean exactly? Leslie has now lost two of her two projects that she was in charge of. Oh, for two. Right. And Marcella, you have lost yes. two also. Yes. Ryan has won two and lost none. Ryan, you're working with two losers, basically. I believe I'm the stronger, and I have the record to prove that. Leslie, your record is 0-2. Leslie, what bothers me about you is talking a lot, not saying terribly much. I need people who think for themselves. So I just have to tell you, Leslie, thank you, but we just don't need you. Thank, thank you so much. very much. Five candidates remain. Who will ultimately be The Apprentice? Ryan went home? No, Ryan, Ryan did not go home. It's going to be somebody, and it's going to be soon. Ah! There we go. <laughs> this is it. The final five. They called up the records pretty early, right? Yeah. Really? What they records? Said, Ryan, you're 7 and 2 with two wins as a project manager, no losses. And Marcella, you're 3 and 7, and 0 and 2 as a project manager. Ryan, how many times have you been called back in there? Twice. How many times have you been in there, Marcella? I've been called back, I think, five. You've been called back five times? So, Ryan, are you happy? Or are you freaked out? I'm not freaked I mean, you know. It is what it is? I got, I got two people. You guys got three. Love you, but you're kind of safe. You know who the final four is, OK? All it's right. not even a conversation. It's to my benefit that Ryan knows that he's pretty much safe on this task. And I've reminded him of that, because I don't want Ryan to have the killer instinct on the next task. I, I was thinking that you're PM tomorrow, but I don't know how yeah, you. Yeah, I'll be PM. It's not as much anxiety for you right. as you know. If we lose the next task, I will probably be the one going home because of my track record. So that allows me to concentrate tomorrow on just performing, performing and performing. I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, that's the key. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's just a matter of time at this point. They don't seem like they, they know that. Of course they don't know. The sheep don't know they're going to slaughter. How could they not know? 
If they know it, they're not going to acknowledge it. They just sit and await their fate as I grind the axe. This is the win. This is the win that matters. The only thing I care about is that we do it exactly what we did yesterday. I'm being the PM. This is it. This is what decides the top four. This is it. I feel like going to the 11th task, I have energy. All my losses were in the beginning, and now I've started to win. People came into this guns blazing and are now really getting tired and it's showing, and I'm just really just getting a taste and getting more excited. I'm going to being project manager the second time, the first time I led my team to a loss, so it's really important to win. It would be just embarrassing if we don't cream them. We'll cream that. I'm purposely being obnoxious, and I'm thinking about what I have to do to win. Donna is busy thinking about how much I bother her. That's good for me. Let's just stay focused tomorrow. That's all I care about. in North Carolina and she'll be calling you to give you your task. Um, could you be ready by the monitor in the loft at 9 o'clock? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Then there were five. Good morning and welcome to week 11 of the interview process. There are only five of you left and it makes it a little bit more difficult to get on with the last of the competitive team efforts. I'm here at the Bernhardt showrooms down in High Point, North Carolina to launch my new furniture collection. This is the first time that we are branching out towards the west coast and it really does point to the importance of good marketing. Your next task involves marketing as well. You are going to create an in-flight video for an airline called Song Airlines. This is an airline that's innovative, high class, with low fares. You will show your videos to a plane load full of Song frequent flyers who will be filling out surveys judging your video. The one that is deemed most effective and promoting the $99 flight from New York to Los Angeles wins. Each team will be provided with actors and a production crew to help you produce your 30-second video. Also, the executives from Song, Tim Mapes and Joanne Smith, will be available by phone to answer any questions you might have. At the end of this, whichever team loses will be called into the conference room. One of you will be sent home. Good luck. Goodbye. So what are we doing again? <laughs> I'm really pumped, you know? It, it, I like getting excited about an idea. I'm excited. Will you have fun with it with me? Oh, absolutely. I'm still going to get you to bed early tonight. Party in New York City! When you have such a short turnaround for a task, I think you have to work on the go. It, you don't have time to sit in an office and, you know, kick your feet up and just pitch ideas all day. You really have to go with your idea and, and get it going. OK, what about this idea? First shot is this baseball player. He's running to the airport. He misses his, real, his regular team flight. He's at the airport having a meltdown in front of the song counter. Him saying, I only have 100 bucks on me. My idea is to have this star athlete miss his team flight, show up at the airport, buy that ticket to LA for $99 at song, and uh, have him make his game. Are you, you're the baseball player? Sure, why not? We'll save cool. some money. Can I, I play be, baseball Can in I be the girl behind the counter? Yeah. <laughs> Marcel and I went to meet with our camera crew and kind of gather everybody up before we uh, started filming. I'm doing the call to the executives. Can I speak to Tim Mapes, please? Yep, he's right here. <laughs> when Marcella called the executives from Song, I was kind of hesitant because we already had our idea and we were going to go forward with that idea regardless of what the executive said. For the videos that you have in flight right now, do you have anything that's sports related? 24 channels of television includes four channels of ESPN. We have an interactive gaming. You can play poker against other customers on board the airplane. So I guess you can consider poker a sport, but it, yeah. <laughs> um, so who would you say is your target customer? That would be females, really 40 uh, and above. 
Thank you so much, and we'll call you back if we need to. Maybe. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Bye. So did you hear that? Huh? Do you think that a woman over 40 is going to identify with, identify with this theme? Some big, large percentage of their, of their TV stations are sports. Four channels. They put poker on the plane. And it's not just for women. I mean, I, I did, I, did it sound like it was only for women? Ryan is intent on, on going with the direction of the sports figure because he identifies with it. My only concern is he's not the target audience, but Ryan is project manager, so we have to go in this direction. We need to promote the price, the destination, and the brand. I'm not worried about target audience. Ask your customer all the questions you need to come up with a good solution to what the client needs and wants. Um, hearing your comments about the furniture, we are, uh, as I say, evolving each and every day. Investigate, research, then develop. OK, oh, so Song Airline. OK, Song, oh, I like the logo. It's like a comet, sort of. Look at the S. He says here what they found that by building an airline designed to meet the needs of women, they met the needs of just about everyone else. Our task is to create a 30-second in-flight video to promote the Song leg from New York to Los Angeles, which is a $99 fare. So the strategy to win this task is to find the hook, find the message. Everything else will fall into place. It's Joanne Smith. Hi, Joanne. This is Donna from Primarius Corp. We were wondering if you and Tim had a few minutes to talk with us. We sure do. What's the target age or for your demographic? Our target audience has always been female. We've built the product and brand strategy around that. It's, uh, you know, the kind of the female boomers. I, I have a question. My name is Bethany. I happen to be a natural food chef, so the heartbeat chef appealed to me and the fact that you have organic food. I'm glad you noticed that. So basically, I mean, you can have this hip, high quality lifestyle at a really reasonable price. Absolutely. I think Joanne and I are both struck with the fact that we don't need to advertise. If you could just tell all your friends about us, since you know so much, we're, we're grateful for that. <laughs> Song as a brand is about being a breath of fresh air. Um, we have signature cocktails on board. We're the only airline that actually serves them in an acrylic martini glass. Awesome. You know, I, was, I had some questions. We were discussing uh, clothing, believe it or not, of the business traveler. we just like to be maybe a little more certain. Well, we don't have a specific dress code for the airplane. We know it's not people in sweatpants, but is it people in diesel jeans or is it people in uh, A-line skirts and Pullmans. I mean, I've read articles where people say, you know, I get upgraded better if I dress uh, a little higher. I always cringe when Jim talks to the executives because he doesn't really ask questions that are relevant. And he goes off on tangents all the time. Hopefully, Jim won't interrupt what Bethany and I are trying to accomplish. Thank you very much. Good luck. Great, Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Go. Let's go. Let's just let him go talk, and we'll do what we want. That's what's going to happen, OK? Because I'm pretending that I'm working with you only right now. Because that works. Do you understand? Yes. So just understand that I can't get caught up and get into a fight. So I'm just yeah. going to say yes, 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 and I'll make the decisions yep, that about works. the style, and and then it will we'll get it done. Works. For okay. One hundred percent. Okay. All right. I think we're going to do high style, low cost, something like that. Sure. I even like better high style, low fare. We are a breath of fresh air. Sounds good to me. We're ready to go, guys. Yes. I was saying, the commercial is three vignettes. Let's start storyboarding this out. I mean, we have like a, an idea now, but we actually need to kind of get that on paper a little bit. I can do it guided by what you guys say. Well, I'm just talking about like the first yeah, screen. Yeah, you're the drawer. May I? Okay. The team dynamic is the following. Donna's the administrator, the organizer. Jim is the artist all over the place, just yeah. spewing things out. And the more and more I move through this process, and in particular this task, it's always me with a big idea. Well, she has to have kids. She has to have a, a baby carriage there's or something. A kid. So there's going to be a businessman with his martini glass. Something about how he never even gets to relax like this at home. Well, sort of serves him. So here she comes. She has great calves. And here's the woman who's checking her in. Maybe she has sexy legs. You don't we know. We need to focus big picture right now. One. We don't need to worry about her calves. One. And she has her tray, and here are her nice legs that he enjoys, although, you know, would never touch. He is the man drinking. OK, next. Wow. I'm Bethany. We got to Silver Cup Studios, and we immediately met with our casting director. I knew what the scenes were. The video would be a series of scenes of different types of people that would fly song. I knew who to cast. 
We need a woman who is in her late 30s. She looks great. You got That's it. the first woman. Then we need a total classic flight attendant, tall, thin, looks like she was a beauty queen at some point. Got like, that. Then we need um, a young, yuppie couple. Let's put people in categories. Primaria seems to be quite organized, utilizing their resources. This is the moment to show your strengths. We're looking for an apprentice to Martha Stewart. And it looks to me as if Primarius has taken that seriously. You guys get right to business, dude. Yeah. You? We don't have much time here, man. I chop, know. chop, chop. I know. She's the flight attendant. Okay, She's the pencil flight. skirt, twin set. He's Ralph Lauren. They're okay, battery. big picture. Oh my God, I'm late. <laughs> That's cute. Ryan is playing the main baseball player in our promotional video. Ryan is not the best actor ever, which is fine because this is meant to be a comedy. It was good. You're awesome. You're gonna get an Oscar after this. <laughs> my dream was always as a little kid and even into college to play professional baseball. So this was really an opportunity to at least kind of feel like a baseball player. It was my idea and I wanted to be a big part of both sides of the camera, the producer, director, and the actor. I'm still gonna get out of bed. I'm just gonna throw their jersey on, pull my pants on, and just dump everything else into the bag. Oh, man. I need your shorts. <laughs> All right, so how are we doing? We're okay, we're okay. We're having fun with this one. Great. <laughs> you ready? Oh my God, I'm late. Well, I think it's a big gamble for Ryan to be the director, the producer, the star, not to play on an old baseball adage. What Ryan's trying to do is to pitch and catch at the same time. And the ball travels too quickly. Do we have to do the whole alarm thing again on this? That's up to you. I'm late. OK. That's good. OK, you want to do that one more time? Well, she looks good in the uniform. <laughs> Coach, I just realized I missed the flight. Um, all I've got is 100 bucks, but I'll figure this out. We're at JFK Airport in the Song Terminal doing this in-flight video. The thing that I'm pleased about most with this task is just the, the amount of fun that I'm having with it. I look good? I actually okay. kind of like that one. I'm warming up to the concept. The more I see it on the monitor, I like it. It looks really professional. I'm feeling really comfortable with where we are right now. It's a party! <laughs> Where's your headgear? No, no headgear. Yeah, it's so funny. No. Please, from one shot. Just put it on for me from one shot. You're, they're not, you're not even going to make it all the way there. Yeah, I'm going to sit in there. That's what the... <laughs> <laughs> it's just wrong. And action. Did all you guys miss your flight? Uh, no. no! What blow the team when you threw that <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> How'd that look? I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Beautiful. That was great. Let me get just a little closer to her. Like that, What's you're that? gonna walk along. Yeah, your left hand side's gonna be along this line. Walk right by her, kick out the kick and say, All right, Jim, we gotta yeah, do it. Okay, that's right, and it's all quick, you know, it's, I mean, don't be crazy. Yeah, just. Jim, Jim, we won't have anything on the plane if we don't go. I'm just... Go, let's do it. Shall we start again? We're filming the first portion of our commercial. We have three segments, and Jim thinks he's Fellini, and we're doing like a Fellini film, and I would love to do a Fellini film, but I frankly have 20 minutes to film a 30 second in flight commercial. Beautiful. Oh, that's so perfect. I, it makes me want to puke. Uh, loving it. This is crazy. This is nuts. Roll camera. Sweet. Okay, we got to do a quick. Let's oh. go. And action. Have a wonderful flight, miss. Thank you. Uh, beautiful, guys. Great. Before we lose the light, let's try to do the other angle. We're getting on the plane in okay, like two minutes. Okay, we got to go get on the plane. We want to get into the plane. We want to get some shots in there of the businessman having a martini. This is going to be our closing shot, so that's a really important one. As long as we have the martini shot, and I can have one too, we shouldn't lose. So your cocktail? We're not getting real martini drinks, right? Why not? Oh, we are. Yeah. Just we can't let have. Yeah, we can't have Jim drinking any. Who's Jim? Um, Jim on our team right there. No alcohol for him. Losing if we don't win it. Hurry up. 
Oh, is he too much already? No, he just is not. I mean, he's already crazy as it is, and okay. we don't need any alcohol okay, in his system. Mind. Everybody else but Jim. Yeah, anybody else can drink okay. but Jim. Donna, why aren't we going right now? What's going on? We need seven minutes to set up. I only drink when I work. I'm just teasing. So do you want me to just mix it in here? And like, I don't know. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, let's do that. Well, we might as well be real about the Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, so when we're you getting do that? real alcohol. Jim does not drink any. I'm serious. No, I'm sure not. Whoops, it fell in my mouth. Hey, hey. I don't have a shot yet. Oh, there's the red. That's a better color. Let's film. Yeah. Rolling camera, action. Sorry, your cocktail? Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, coach, I missed the flight. Excuse me, Mr. Jackson. I'll see you in L.A. tonight. No. I hate that. <laughs> I hope you're amazing, Chuck. <laughs> Because yeah. my acting isn't going to help you. But you know what? I think it's really funny. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite right there. I think we want oh, that yeah. one. As soon as we finished filming at the airport, we just went directly to our editing house. And they're going to help us take all that footage and put it all back together into a 30-second promotional video. Perfect, because all I got is 100. That's all you need. Enjoy your flight. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. What I really liked was that it flowed. The, the continuity of it was awesome. Yeah, I, mean, I, I just moved I from agree. scene I to scene to scene, and it was fast. It was yeah, fast. I thought it was I awesome. I should get another beer. Chuck, you want to eat or drink? No, thank you. All right, beer coming for you. When we got to the editing studio, the refrigerator was packed with beers. You know it's going to be a long night, and that's what those guys do. The guys that work in that business, they drink beers and edit. $99.JFK JFK to LAX. Need we play more? Damn. Damn, no? Yeah. Get to play on words. It doesn't make sense. A little bit of sense. After the fourth Sapporo and before the fifth Heineken, I had this great idea for the tagline. Need we play more? Okay, not need we say more, not need we pay more, but need we play more. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's almost genius, you know. I don't know what another seven beers will bring after that. It's just gonna get better and better. Need we play more? Oh! That's it sick! Makes, it makes no sense to me. I'm need we say more? It's, it's a fantastic play of words, but if you're reading it... And then says, we're hitting it with play. It and makes then, no sense, And then right? if you just say it, even if it doesn't make sense, need we play more? It's, it's freaking genius. And it's got cadence. You know what? You can decide because you're the PM, but I, I, to me, well, it makes no sense. Will you do me no a favor? Sense. Will you print out this one for me? Thanks, Paul. I think you're drunk. So? That's <laughs> why so you're saying you need we play yeah, more. So? Need we drink more? Come on, it's perfect. I know my, my uh, judgment's impaired a little bit. I wouldn't be driving anywhere tonight. But I'm editing a video. I'm trying to see from a creative standpoint. You know, Vincent Van Gogh cut his ear off and made some beautiful art. So I'm having a couple beers and I'm making a video, you know? Tell me if you think this is cool or not. I guarantee no one else has done this. Popped a little subliminal message in there. I just want to see it. I just want to see if it, how, what it looks like. That is so sick! Who does that? You. Right! Me, that's who. I think it's an awesome... In fact, does it tie It doesn't have to do with what we're doing, but I love seeing that. Uh, let me see it one more time. That's your call, babe. Right. Yeah, yeah! Yes! I don't like the subliminal decision. And I tell you that right now, but that's your decision. You can decide what to It's decide. one piece of sub subliminalization. Okay, so that's your call. <laughs> Food. Looks familiar. Sure does. We're about to walk onto a plane and present our 30 second video to the song Freakin' Flyers. They would then fill out a survey rating us from one to five to see who had promoted the brand, the destination, and the price more effectively. Hi, guys. Hello. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Welcome aboard, Song Flight 411. In just a moment, you will be viewing two promotional videos. Our first video presentation is brought to you by Primarius. 
Hi there. So basically we're about to show you a video promoting the leg from JFK to LAX for $99. Our motto is high style, low fare, song. A breath of fresh air. We'll have a wonderful flight to LA. Enjoy your flight, miss. Where are you going today? Los Angeles. Oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Now's the time to fill out your surveys. Hello. Hey guys. How are you? How are you guys doing? How are you? Now for the second presentation, it's going to be brought to you by Matchstick. Okay. Imagine a plane trip that you actually look forward to. Well, ladies and gentlemen, imagine no longer. It's real. It's time to come and play with song. I'm late. To JFK Airport. Hey, coach, I missed the flight. Excuse me, Mr. Jackson. I'll see you in LA tonight. Song Airlines flies direct from JFK to Los Angeles for only $99. Perfect, because all I got is 100 <laughs> Did all you guys miss your flight? No! Why no. follow the team when you can fly a song? <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now is the time to fill out your surveys. When you're finished, you can pass them to the front, and we can leave from the gate. They look remarkably perky to uh, have gone through what they've gone through over the past two days. Was the presentation okay? I was shaking. Great. I think we nailed it. I heard a lot of laughs. We got a lot of giggles. They liked the video from what I could tell. I think the video rocked the house. I do too. So today is green day, except for me. I did have no green on. <laughs> How clever of all of you to wear the beautiful green of song. So, Matchstick, Primarius, both of you created 30-second in-flight videos for Song Airlines promoting a $99 flight to Los Angeles. Matchstick, do you have any idea how you did? We saw a positive reaction from most people, which is what we wanted. It was uh, comedic, and we got some giggles, which is what we wanted. So we were very proud of what we got. And Primarius, how effective did you think your video was? We were so proud of the product that we all just were just so pleased. So Charles, how did Primarius score? They were rated on a scale of one to five, one being the lowest, five being the highest. And Primarius received an overall average score of 4.2. Hmm. Alexis, how did Matchstick score on the frequent flyer survey? On the same one to five scale, Matchstick received an overall average score of 2.8. Well, I watched both videos and I agree with the scores. So, Primarius, you win. Congratulations. You had a very short period of time in which to create this. And whose idea was it? The overall concept was my idea. And Martha, I just want to mention one other thing that when Alexis and I were speaking to the song executives, they were so knocked out by Primarius's spot, they're going to run it as a real spot. Wow. Wow. Pretty fabulous. So Primarius, for your reward, and this is the final reward, I'd like to invite you all, and Donna's been there already, to Bedford. We hope that you would like to all go horseback riding with me oh tomorrow morning. Oh my God. <laughs> and this will be the first time I'll be spending time with you, Jim and Bethany, outside of the conference room. And we'll just take a nice ramble through the woods. How wonderful. And after our horseback ride is a form of relaxation, we can play a game of Scrabble. <laughs> okay. Love Scrabble. 
and I think it will be a lot of fun. And Matchstick, Marcella, Ryan, I'll see you back here in the conference room, and one of you will be sent home. played before. Oh, okay. Ever. This reward for me was so special. Coming to Martha's house in Bedford to spend the day horseback riding with her and playing Scrabble. Coming into this task, it was do or die for me. I led and we won and we won huge. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much. So uh, this is the Bedford stable. You have been winning very nicely for the last three right. tasks. I can liken it to driving a carriage. What I like is called Hold three up. abreast. Uh, three in a row, and they all work in unison, and that's what you've been doing for the last few good. tasks. Unfortunately, um, we're really looking for one. <laughs> so the Trinity is going to have to become a single. <laughs> well, we're going to saddle up, and we're going to go riding, so we better get going. Okay, and swing up. Wonderful. Just nice and easy. How lucky do you feel, you guys? Look who's leading, Jim. No. Uh -oh. I know. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're like in the enchanted forest. It's so fantastic. Beautiful. This area right here, look at this. It's like a meadow in the mist. You can't wait for an invitation to talk to the boss. You've got to make your move, especially in a job interview. I was making my move with Martha, and Donna was in the rear, bringing up last place. Donna, are you okay? I'm great, thank you. Isn't this an amazing piece of property? It's so gorgeous, Martha. Come on, this is unbelievable. Yeah, this is Look at the owl house. That's great. <laughs> Ready to take the home stretch? Yeah, boy. Go, go, go. Good boy. Good <laughs> OK, look where we are. That was a fun little trot we got in. OK, so now we're going to play Scrabble. <laughs> so I've never played Scrabble before. We'll teach you as we go along. You, you have to start in the center. Anywhere, this right? is the beginning. And you have no. to work off other. You have to work off all other names, yeah. See? You have to use so many letters to spell a word. Is there like a minimum? If you oh, use yeah. seven, you get 50 extra points. Right. There seems like there's a lot of rules here. Oh, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll pick up on it. It really is easy. Look at this. What is it? Fluster. That's good. Flustered. Yes, Jeff. So that's 16. 16. Bethany, like, it's your turn. Oh, it is. Have, don't, you don't use my letter because oh. I'm ready now. I, I will not. No, no, I was trying no, to. Sorry, don't, oh, okay. don't use my spot I, I don't know she's I using it. Oh, well. Oh, but now you're messing me up. My goodness. And with a really easy word, too. How are you guys doing this, man? What do you mean? You want me to help you think of another word? You're, there's plenty of words. You have you have very good letters, only they're only once. You're not going to get a lot of score. Yeah. Donna needs special attention. You can't just throw her in front of a Scrabble board. Donna was, like, all freaked out and flustered over the, the, you know, the idea of spelling a word. I mean, it wasn't like chess. We weren't asking you to be Bobby Fisher. Like, just spell a word, move on. So any word? OK, so that doesn't work, what I'm planning here. I wonder what the significance of fluster is. <laughs> this was a real reward. We sat and played Scrabble with Martha Stewart and just talked to her and giggled, and that was amazing. I mean, I look at Martha, and I look at her life, and I look at what she's done. Martha's such an inspiration to do all of the things that I want and know that I can do. Thanks again, Martha. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao, <laughs> Ben. Bye-bye. She's so cute. <laughs> Whoever calls a boss cute. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> I just want you to know that I want this job more than anything. Um, I just have to ask you one question. Yeah. Going into this task, we both knew that if we lost, I would probably go home. If that wasn't the case, if you felt more that your ass was on the line, would you have not been as relaxed? Would you have been more careful about drinking? Would you, I don't know. Would you have done anything differently? I still feel like, I mean, it was my idea. I was on the TV. I was behind the camera. Yeah, I know. Um, I worked through the night. And I to that. say that I was just trying to 
think I could skate by. It was, it was totally unfair. Um, the beer thing was just celebrating that we were finished with the completion of all the tasks. Just the atmosphere in the editing room, sitting on a couch and working, sounds like a kind of a time to have a beer. So did I relax because I thought you, had, you were more likely to go home? Not at all. Not at all. I just don't think that I acted any differently than I would if I was the one more on the hot seat. But it's just did so hard. Did you feel like I took this task lightly? You did seem so much more relaxed to me than before, but I, maybe that has to do with the fact that we said we're going to go into this and we're going to have fun. Yeah. Well, I'm going to pack. I'm going to pack, too. Matchstick, this is your third loss in a row. What happened? We tried to do a minute long commercial in 30 seconds and it just never really flowed. Who came up with this concept? The whole concept from start to finish was my idea. I mean, I literally came up with it five minutes after your teleconference. Well, anyway, let's look at the video, okay? I'm late. Jim see, here. you can't see how many dollars are really there. Hey, coach, I missed the flight. What, wait a minute, Jackson. could we stop Let's the video? Online. Could we replay it? What, what was that flashing? What, that yeah. little thing, yeah. What, what was that? I've seen it used in a movie before. They splice in, in a 148th second of a frame, like some kind of messaging, and it gets the viewer's attention. But again, if I were doing that, I wouldn't use subliminal messaging. It's just confusing. Let's, let's see the rest. Let's see the rest. Come, oh, excuse want, me, okay, Charles. Yeah, yeah, I just want to see the rest. No! Why flow the team when you can fly a song? Yeah! <laughs> now, what does Need We Play More? Need We Play More started off as Need We Say More. I thought play was a play on the word say, so I thought we could use play and still get the same messaging across. Need we play more instead of need we say more. Did you guys talk to the executives? Because their target audience of frequent flyers is not guys and sports. I kind of feel like 40-year-old plus women don't have a problem seeing guys in uniform. Well, there were lots of comments from the customer surveys, and I just uh, have a few of them in front of me. The athlete thing made no sense. The acting was bad. Hard to believe this was an actual commercial. Uh, I felt like I was watching a bad sitcom with clowns. You missed that message about high class, low fare. Not really responding to the client's request for a promotional spot to a $99 fare. It had to be destined for failure. You're not Woody Allen. It's hard to write it, direct it, star in it, edit it think of subliminal approaches. I tried to do it all. I tried to use all my ideas, and, and it backfired. And, Marcella, uh, you know, I, I spoke to the editor. Were you drinking as much beer as Ryan? I, I, I had, I think, one Corona, and that was it. Of course, I, I know you threw back quite a few. I had, I had about four or five beers. But why were you drinking so much well, when you were on a task? A couple of reasons. The beer was free. It was in the stocked refrigerator. So we kind of took this one differently. We said, let's have really have fun. And we got to the editor's studio. It was more of a celebration. We've gone through this whole thing. So you had to partake of all of that? No, I didn't have to partake. Uh, but Maybe by the last beer is when you put in that subliminal uh, part of the, of the presentation. I wanted to be creative, something outside of just doing the promo. I don't know how creative putting I mean, that in is. You had a real responsibility to get across a simple message. And I think you tried to do too much. You really sort of messed up, both of you. So, Marcel, did Ryan give 100% on this task? He was slightly more relaxed because he knew that if we lost, I would probably go home. I totally, totally disagree. I don't think you work as hard as I did on this task if I thought I was sliding by. And so despite being totally involved in every aspect of this promotional video, do you feel that you really had a passionate approach? I would give anything to be that professional baseball player in that video. I had fun. I mean, we had a lot of fun on this shoot. Obviously, you want to have fun while you're do doing business. 
but you want to deliver the goods. Right, it has to be a combination. Of course, you hope you can have fun while you're working, because that makes work fun. And I have said that when I see a team that is losing, 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 that doesn't bode well for either of you. Ryan, after getting to know us, what do you want to do here? I like business, and that's the calling for me. It's not too often you can get an opportunity to go to an executive level position without having worked your way up the company. Maybe you should go to business school and get some more education, and at the same time develop your creativity. You started off strong, and you're ending up badly, and that's not good in this process. You said this video was all yours, and obviously it didn't work. And Marcella, I'm just not seeing any real passion in your approach here. And I worry about it because here at Martha Stewart Living, you have to push to get your ideas across. And I don't see that from you. And there is another thing that bothers me, Marcella. Your record as a project manager is 0 and 2, and you've been on eight losing teams. Neither of you really fit in and I just want to say goodbye to both of you and thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, well, that really wasn't so difficult because really neither of them would make a great executive at this time. Well, and they didn't shine through. They had their chance to really show their fortes, and they didn't uh, do that. I can't imagine, quite honestly, Marcella being your apprentice. Yep. Dear Marcella, your passion for food, for the Hispanic market in America, and your hard work are qualities we admire at MSLO. I think you have the makings for a really good food editor, food maker, and even television performer. Dear Ryan, you have the desire to try new things and a lot of self-confidence. I think you need more focus, possibly more education, business for example, and I know you will then be ready for a big challenge. Best wishes, Martha Stewart. Next week, what began with 16 is now down to the final three. And it's their most challenging task yet. The interviews. Really be tough. Why do you want to work at Why Martha Stewart? Why are you Stewart? the right candidate? What did you learn from Martha Stewart? Is there anything you regret? Three will be narrowed down to two. Goodbye. It all leads to the live Apprentice finale. The Apprentice, Martha Stewart, next Wednesday on NBC. For more on The Apprentice, go to NBC.com. And want to find the best prices for your upcoming travel? Go to Yahoo and search for Apprentice Travel. Now.